By now, you've probably heard about the total solar eclipse that's going to occur on Monday, April 8th of this year, so 2024. And viewing the eclipse should be done with safety in mind. First, you never want to look directly at the sun without protection. This can cause permanent damage to your eyes. And to be clear, permanent means looking at the sun without protection could result in lifelong vision problems. When viewing the sun or the eclipse, you need to protect your eyes with special glasses made specifically for viewing the sun. Sunglasses are not sufficient enough to protect your eyes to view the solar eclipse. Whose sunglasses are those? I couldn't find mine, so I'm using your mom's. Those are totally you. You'll want to use solar eclipse viewing glasses. These shade out everything so only the sun can be seen. As the eclipse occurs, you'll be able to clearly see it in these glasses. These can be found online and they're relatively inexpensive if you buy them early enough. The closer you get to the eclipse though, the more expensive they get and the harder they become to find. So what do you look for when you're buying solar viewing glasses? According to NASA, safe solar viewers are thousands of times darker than sunglasses and should comply with the ISO 12312-2 international standard. Your glasses should have an ISO marking on it and an indication that this standard is being met. That is how you know it's safe. When you're looking online to buy these, NASA says it does not recommend or approve glasses, so keep that in mind. They just say these glasses should follow that ISO 12312-2 standard. Most welding glasses below shade 13 are not recommended either. Can you take them off at any time to view the solar eclipse? Yes, but only if you're under the path of totality, meaning that the sun is completely blocked by the moon. During the period of time where the sun is completely blocked by the moon, it is safe to look at the eclipse without the glasses. In Pittsburgh, however, we're only going to see around 97% of the sun blocked. Now, that's a lot, but it's not enough to safely view the eclipse without the glasses. We'll have more on the solar eclipse and the glasses Saturday on the KDK Morning News. KDK TV News at 6 starts right now.